Hello, 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 and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we are on the final week of fall in year one. So we've got some big plans that we need to get sorted. And the first was get this house built, and the house is now fully upgraded, which is excellent news. Because we need to get a fried egg made for the community center, and also maybe clean up where these beds are, because there's just beds everywhere. But we've made a little bedroom over here. Ooh, this flower pot as well. Just do a tiny bit of rearranging so things are not weirdly in the middle of the room. I mean, it's fine, isn't it? All right, outside we have some crops ready and a whole bunch of jams that have been made. So let's just get our farm tidied up and ready for the day. All right, got some wheat planted over here because we'll have enough time to finish that before the end of the season. So that is now a job done. Lots of things are going to be able to sell this season as well. And in our chicken coop, we are looking for a rabbit's foot still as one of our final items for the community center. But no luck today. Luckily with the rabbit's foot, we at least have the entire winter to still try to nab that rabbit's foot. All right, with the farm all tidied up, we've got to bring... Oh, we need to bring Emily a fire quartz. Okay, let's go grab that. We should have a fire quartz in one of these chests. We do not have a fire quartz. Okay, well, we can go get a fire quartz at some point today. Right, of course, it's the start of a new week, so we need to go check on this community board down here. See what our big task is for the week. We've got community cleanup, lots of trash in the water, so we could go and fish out some of the trash, or aquatic overpopulation. Midnight carp. I think I'm going to go for the trash. Midnight carp seems way more challenging. And this one, we just need to gather 20 pieces of trash and then take them up to the bin by the trains. But it's time now to head over into the mines because we need to find a fire quartz. Now down here near the bottom, I mean, we might also get down to the bottom. We have to just keep going down. We're just looking for a fire quartz though. Lots of mushrooms in here, which is great though. And also lots of enemies. Let's just take those on. Oh, we've already taken a significant amount of damage. Not ideal, never ideal. All right, there we go. Let's get these mushrooms picked up. No fire quartz here, though. A lot more enemies. It's very dangerous down here. All right, we'll eat this blackberry. That kind of recovered our health, but just so very little. Ah, uh, oh my goodness. And this fire, like, bounces off the walls, and it's going to be hard to dodge. But there we go. We cleared out all the enemies, so now we just need to find our way down. Okay, here we go. No fire quartz here either. I'm assuming we'll find them, though. I feel like they're quite common down here. We just have to get to them. Definitely happy to pick up some of this gold ore though because you always need ores. Our inventory is already full but found a fire quartz on the next level down. Fight some of these slimes. We'll have to be a bit careful about that because our health is looking a little low. Grab some more gold ore. Grab some of this coal. We can fit these mushrooms. Oh no, not that mushroom because it wasn't the same star as the other ones. We've got just so much junk in here. Ooh, we've got some new ideas to sleep on though, so we've upgraded our mining again, which is great news. Getting closer to having all the skills fully done, but not quite there yet. All right, not having any luck finding a ladder down here. There we go. Okay, found the ladder. Let's see if we can find one more, ideally before we have to go and mess with any of the enemies, because I don't want to take any more damage. It's just a little bit of a risk. Okay, he sees me. He's shooting. Ah! The bat is also coming. All right, it's all right. We've managed it. We're only a little bit worse for wear. Now, it's a bit of a shame because we've been doing such a big push for the community center. We've not had another upgrade to our backpack, so inventory space is a problem, I suppose. Oh, look, found a skull key. We've made it to the bottom. Excellent. Okay, so I guess we can leave now. We've actually managed to get to the bottom there. Now, we need to go give this fire quartz to Emily. So we are back in town. We'll head over to the saloon. It's so nice that, like, she's fairly easy to find. Clint is easy to find. When you have quests for the people who are easy to find, it's always so great. If you've got a quest to find Marnie, it's so difficult because who knows where she is. All right, there we go. And that has been delivered. Making it to the bottom of the mines has also been delivered. Delivered. It's been finished. <laughs> we got there. All right, and back home, we are ready to end our first day of this final week. And we've leveled up our mining, so now we've got more pickaxe proficiency and we can craft the mega bomb. I made a good amount of money yesterday because we had lots of crops finished, plus all those mayonnaise, grape jellies, all sorts of good things, goat cheese, pomegranate jelly on that second page. Nothing too crazy, but just lots of little things adding up. And of course, all the forged items because we did plant some of those. And we're on to Tuesday and we've got the achievement for making lots of money because we have indeed made lots of money. Doesn't feel like it because <laughs> we're still missing some of the quality of life things that we need to buy. All right, come down here and check on our mushrooms today. And they are all ready. Quite like this little mushroom cave down here. 
and the new dehydrator. Especially when we have dried chanterelles because they're worth so much money. All right, harvesting the bok choy and then planting in just a couple more wheat seeds and selling all of the bok choy and the dried chanterelles. That will be nice. A little bit of extra money in our pocket. Now, of course, it is also the final week, which means all of these tea leaves that we planted to use as fencing are done and need to be harvested every day. Then we can start making lots and lots of green tea and we'll really see the profits fly in. No rabbit's foot again today. That's okay though. We did actually get some wool though, which is quite fun. Now we are still waiting on a truffle from our pig and I think he's still a baby. I don't think he's fully grown. So he's not actually even looking for a truffle at the moment. A little concerning, a little concerning. We've got about five days left. We need him to grow up and then basically immediately find a truffle. Uh, a little scary because if we don't find that truffle, then we have to rely on the wandering trader lady and there's just no guarantee she's gonna have a truffle for us in december in december in the winter in december it does feel like december doesn't it in winter <laughs> all right not much happening in the greenhouse probably should work on actually fiddling that out especially before winter does arrive so we can grow crops all season long and the other thing is i suppose we'll probably want to buy some seeds to be growing in the greenhouse all winter long all right we need to gather 20 pieces of trash now our little traps do actually count towards the trash gathered so we are already at one even though we haven't done any actual fishing yet this soggy newspaper was fished out of our little stream in our farm area today so we'll keep that but we need to go see if we can get 19 more pieces of trash and you know what? if we get some fish along the way that's also good news we can just add it to our profits all right down on the beach i found some powder melon seeds those must be something we can plant in the winter which is exciting new kind of crop because there's also the seasonal crops now it was just a nice fishing spot there but it disappeared as soon as i started walking over towards it let's just see is there anything to gather over on the other side of the beach just one little mussel up here oh and a sea urchin all right let's head off the beach then and it's time to do a little bit of fishing so let's see what we managed to catch here hopefully some trash i don't think algae counts as trash so no for the first one oh, that's more algae it will be well sorted on the algae front. So these waters look kind of crystal clear blue. Oh, and a fish. You wouldn't think there's too much trash in them. They look really lovely. Okay, another fish. Oh, and possibly some treasure, which would be nice. Oh, this fish is quite slippery though. Uh, let's see, get the treasure, go back, get the fish. That was a close one. And good, what did we get? Ooh, a salmon, nice. And some bait. Ah, the worst of the treasures. Just add it right to our fishing rod and then continue on. Ooh, okay. Some river jelly, nice. And another salmon, okay. Let's move on. Look at everybody over here. Just come fishing by them. A sea cucumber friends here has begun at the beach. That's cool if I needed sea cucumbers. I don't think I do at the moment at least. Right, heading into Pierre's because I think we'd be better off just to fish at our own house. We need to get some more wheat seeds because we can still plant wheat. Uh, it will still grow before the end of the season. And we'll just follow Emily slowly out the door here. All right, back on our own farm. I think we can just fish in our pond. It's sort of, does it feel like a cheaty way? You know what, technically if we clean up this pond, we are still cleaning up the valley. And I think that's what's really important, right? It doesn't matter which body of water we clean up. We just you know, need to clean up a body of water. So let's just see how this goes. These ones count towards the quest goal and that's all that really matters. And I just feel like we'll get this in no time because uh, do we fish even live in here? It's mostly just garbage. We are actually gonna get a fish. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice, a bream. Some driftwood and a Joja Cola. It's just, there's so much stuck in here. And some more algae. Broken glasses. There's a lot of broken glasses in this town. It's kind of interesting because you wouldn't think there'd be all that many broken glasses in bodies of water in the world. But in this town, there are tons and broken CDs, which is also very odd. I mean, do you even see CDs anymore? I feel like CDs don't exist in my life uh, anymore. I don't have anything that can actually play a CD. Like my desktop does not have a CD drive. My laptop does not have a CD drive. I guess technically my Xbox has a disk drive, but yeah, I guess we should call them disk drives, right? Not CD drives. <laughs> uh, but I don't actually own any games that are on discs for my Xbox. So yeah, I don't have any discs in my life, uh, but maybe, maybe that's what we you know. People had them, they can no longer use them and they've just discarded them into the water, which is a bit sad, really. All right, we've gotten so many pieces of rubbish out of here. It's dark. It's late. Let's do the rest of the chores on the map. Start making some green tea here. Start of our green tea empire. Oh, and plant these wheat seeds. I forgot that I bought these wheat seeds to fill that in. So there we go. Wheat seeds are in the ground. And then we can sell some of these things that we gathered today. And we'll head inside and head to bed. Oh, look. 
Our cat is sleeping on the bed already. All right, made lots of money though. 8,100 from farming activities. Dried chanterelles is a major part of that. Also, all these mayos have definitely helped. And some fish as well. Almost a thousand in fish sales. All right, it's Wednesday. Let's see. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. That should make it for a very interesting day. And if that means we're more likely to find trash in the water because that would actually play in our favor all right we still have a baby pig out here so we are still not going to be able to get a truffle today four days remaining i mean four days for that pig to grow up and to find a truffle but i think i don't know if he'll find a truffle on the very first day he grows up but maybe on the second day especially if you know you keep petting him every day he might be happy enough to give us a truffle Let's just keep our fingers crossed because it would be devastating if not. All right, we've got some fairy roses here that are fully grown. So just gonna plant some yams. This is going to be quite the mess in here, but <laughs> that's okay. Things are going to be very random as they come up. Uh, do you know what? I'm actually, I'm just kind of okay with it. Embrace the chaos or something. All right, we've got a fried egg to take into the community center. We've had it for a while. I did make it on the day that our kitchen was ready and then I just left it in a chest. But we can take that into the community center, but also we'll head over to Clint's and get this geode processed. Because you never know what we might find inside. Maybe something very exciting. Some clay. I mean, that's just about as exciting as it gets sometimes. So there you go. All right, ooh, okay. The wizard would like us to go and kill some squid kid, but he will give us a prize token if we do that. So we're definitely gonna have to go into the mines today to make sure we can secure that prize. Let's just go drop off our egg in here. I mean, look at how good this is coming together. Everything is nearly done. All right, the chef's bundle fried egg. Oh, just missing that truffle for him. So close, but you know what? Actually, I don't think we have anything else left to buy. We could just finish off these two because we have the money for them. So let's get our vault done here. Uh, crystallarium is great and there we go that 5001 some quality fertilizer that's not great but look at that the vault is now done and that's actually really exciting because of course the little junimos are going to be unlocking something for us that's going to be very very helpful and they're bringing out our star our fourth star so two left to go we need the sandfish out of the fish tank and that's the final thing in there then we need a truffle a rabbit's foot, and is that it? Truffle, rabbit's foot. Oh, and the Nautilus shell are the only things we need left on the bulletin board. So we're very, very close. I mean, the Nautilus shell we can't get till winter uh, unless we find it on a trader. So we're very, very close on that one. The truffle is the biggest concern at the moment. Of course, now finishing the vault, we are gonna be able to go and get that sandfish ourselves tomorrow. Oh, look, we found some more clay to add to the clay we already had. <laughs> All right, into the mines, we need to go find, I think it was two squid kid for the wizard and he's gonna give us a prize token and I'd love to see what the next prize is in the list. Oh, this is a big map down here. What are we seeing? Uh, do we see any enemy? There's a couple enemies around. Not on oh, a bat. Excuse me, Mr. Bat, I'm trying to find a squid kid. Oh, and there's a very convenient ladder right there. We'll take that down. Uh, still no luck on the squids. They're not really squids. <laughs> kind of a strange name for them, actually. Oh, this is a weird one. Very grid shaped in here. This is a very dangerous place to be. Oh my goodness. Ow, the damage, the damage. No, run, no, no. <laughs> oh, botherations. Oh, no, Evie, Evie, wake up. Ow, Maru found us. I found you unconscious. That's okay, we'll be a little more careful next time. I wonder what Maru was doing in here. Lost 400 gold and some items. I can live with those items being gone though. Nothing too exciting. We didn't like lose our crystallarium or something. That would have been much worse. Okay. Let's just head home, I think. Everything hurts. <laughs> Everything hurts. All right, let's get this down somewhere. And then we'll put a jade in it, because uh, we can use that later to buy our staircases over in the desert. All right, Snuffles, are you ready tomorrow to give us a truffle? Snuffles or truffles? Ooh, and of course, here we go. The Junimos are hard at work getting our bus repaired, which means we can go to the desert and go get that sandfish that we need. End of day, made a bit of money actually, 8,000. The fairy roses of course add up quite well. Dried purple mushrooms also worth quite a bit there. So all in all, a good day. It's already spent a lot of money. We did make some of it back at least. All right, it's a rainy old day today. Let's just grab some of this stuff up. Get these all swapped out here. So we're busy with our jelly empire because everything has to be an empire. Those are the rules. And we'll get some more green tea going. Honey is ready and some mayo. We've got eggs still to process in here. So let's get those put in. 
All right, rabbit's foot. Doesn't appear to have a rabbit's foot in here. And everybody's stuck inside today on this rainy day. Do you know what, actually? If our pig grows up and then it rains at the end of the month, we, we won't be able to get a truffle because he won't come outside if it's raining. It probably won't rain though, right? I'm, I'm a bit nervous because we've got what? The 26th, the 27th, the 28th. Three days remaining to get that truffle. And he still doesn't look like he's fully grown, which is a bit concerning. Yeah, he's still a baby, uh, which is yeah, not great. Hoping that he grows up then tomorrow. Oh my goodness. This truffle thing is stressing me out to the max. But if we don't get this truffle now, that's it. Our hopes and dreams of the community center in, for, in year one are gone. They're done. We, we dashed. Hopes and dreams dashed. <laughs> Ooh, our mushrooms are already down here on our mushroom logs. I do love these mushroom logs because you get quite a few mushrooms off them. And I mean, combined with the mushroom cave, it's quite a lot of mushrooms, really. All right, let's see our little animals here. So Clover and Star are not fully grown just yet. And neither is little Snuffles. Oh, we still need five more pieces of trash. Oh, and we still need to go find those squid kids. We do have actually a lot of work to do to get those quests done. Ooh, but here, look, Pam is back to work. How exciting is that? Did you hear about the bus? She's ready to go. All right, we need to buy a ticket. 500 gold pieces for a ticket. And we are off to the desert for the very first time. Ah, oh, look, there's a camel waiting for us. We can get some coconuts and cactus fruit for the first time, which is exciting. Cactus fruit is what Linus's favorite things. And Haley likes the coconuts, I believe. But look, hello, Sandy. How are you doing? She has mannequins in here that she sells, which is kind of neat. That is new. Might be able to like display those and put some clothes on them, which is cool. I don't really make many clothes in this game. Like I know that you can do the sewing, you can change your outfits, but I don't really bother with that kind of stuff. Ooh, found a palm fossil, which is cool. And then we just need to do a little bit of fishing. I didn't bring anything with me to help the fishing. So hopefully this goes really well. Didn't bring anything like to give us any sort of bonus. And we're just using like the standard bait. But let's see uh, how likely we are to get a sandfish. We got a bit of treasure, which is good. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's a bit slippery. Can we get there? Is it gonna be the sandfish on our very first? All right, almost got it. Is it the sandfish? Oh, it is, how lucky. And a little bit of treasure. Okay, a geode and some stone. That's fine, but with the sandfish, that means our fish tank is 100% completed, which is another major task at the community center that we can tick off the list. Let's head home. Coming back into the rainy valley. Oh, not ideal. The desert weather was just so delightful compared to this. Hello, Pam. Thanks for the lift. We're going to head into town. We need to go and drop off our new artifact that we got. The palm fossil has been found so we can give that in here to Gunther. Stick it over here for some reason. Some of the things are really organized in the colors and other things are just kind of wherever. Now up to the community center, we have a sandfish to drop off. So let's get him in here, the final specialty fish in this bundle. And that means the glittering boulder is going to be removed overnight, which is also very exciting. We got some dish of the sea. All right, I think, is that Willie's favorite thing? I wonder if we could give it to him. We need to kind of befriend the villagers at some point, but look at the Junimos, they're so happy as that has been completed. Oh, and I am so happy as well because we are so very close with just the bulletin board remaining and only a few items. And look, now you can actually put fish into this. So it's actually something you can interact with. We can take the snail out or we can put the snail back in. So we could get some really cool fish and put them in here and make this tank look really beautiful. All right, bulletin board, we're coming for you next. There we go. Our fifth star is in. All right, back outside, back into the rain. Excellent. We still need to do this community cleanup, so we still need to find five more pieces of trash. So probably should do some fishing. Ooh, but over here, we've got a request. What do we need? Oh, local cart production for Demetrius. And he's gonna give us a prize token for that, which is actually really good because if we need to do some fishing anyways to get the rest of the uh, garbage out of the water, we can do that. We can get some carp and some garbage at the same time. So I guess carp, we need to go up to the mountain lake, I think. So let's head up there. Hello, Abigail. And we will do some fishing and see if we can catch ourselves some carp. All right, let's see. Got our first fish here. Is it going to be a carp though, is the question. Not a good start, got a chub first, but that's okay. We'll take it. I mean, we still make money from catching the fish. We still increase our fishing skill by doing this. It's all really good. Can't complain. Try not to complain. 
And there we go, we did find a carp. One of four completed. And some algae, not quite what we're looking for, but we keep going. Another fish, what is it going to be? It's fairly easy to catch, but it was only a chub. Another fish though, right away, that's really good. This is taking no time at all. And another chub, okay, all right. I wonder, actually, I wonder if you can catch carp after 7 p.m. I wonder, can you catch carp at all times of the day? Is this like a certain timed thing? Maybe we need to come back during the day. Uh, is a walleye, because of course now we are into night fishing. Also, our inventory is very full. All right, I think, I don't know if we can catch carp at night. That is possibly not. I am actually not 100% sure on that fish. So let's just head home and we'll come back fishing again tomorrow. We have some time. All right, back on our farm. We've got a few things to tidy up here before we can head to bed. All right, and we are ready for bed. We will get those quests finished up on Friday. And yeah, the glittering boulder is getting removed. So we've been very, very busy, a very successful Friday here in the valley. We made quite a bit of money as well, which is also nice to see. The pumpkins are always good. Dried purple mushrooms, excellent. All the green tea, the mayo, of course. Yeah, lots of good stuff going on there. So almost 10,000 made in one day. It's what you love to see. I said successful Friday, but I actually meant successful Thursday because it's only now Friday. <laughs> Classic. All right, it is Friday. Oh, which means we need to make sure we go to the Wandering Trader today. And we've got lots of things to harvest, which is what you like to see. I want to make sure we get as many kind of harvests out of these things as we can before the end of the season. And uh, Mr. Kai, Mr. Key, I don't know how if anyone says it, but he has challenged us to get to level 25 in the Skull Cavern. And there's a chill in the air because, of course, it's the Spirits Eve Festival on Saturday. We'll have to make sure we go to that and get ourselves our golden pumpkin and see if anything's new at the festival. All right, did we get a rabbit's foot today? No, but quite a lot of wool, actually. I haven't actually built anything to process the wool yet. We could do that later. Not in a big rush. All right, um, looking at our pig, he still does not look grown up. How long does it take a pig to grow up? He's still a baby. It's the 26th. We have two days left. If he doesn't grow up tomorrow, I don't think we're going to get that truffle in time and I am massively panicking uh, because that was the whole plan and my forgetfulness to go and get a pig early on as soon as this barn was done. Is that going to be the total downfall of us? Because I super duper hope not. All right, and of course it is Friday, so we do need to go see the wandering trader. Maybe she has a rabbit's foot for us or the nautilus shell that we are requiring as our final two items. Possibly, maybe. Let's see, oh, Iridium Bar though. Being able to buy that seems actually like kind of a good deal. Well, oh, she also has a rare crow and some truffle oil. I don't need truffle oil, I need a truffle. All right, we do have to get some more carp though. So let's head back up to the mountain lake and see if we can catch the final carp that we need for our quest. Ooh, but of course, the glittering boulder has been removed and Willy is here inspecting it. Not sure what happened to cause this boulder to disappear. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. And look, there's goodies in the water. Right, and he has, of course, given us our copper pan. So we can now go panning for some treasure in the water as well. And this is one of those things that I just straight up never use. I put it in a chest somewhere and then forget about it. I know you can wear it on your head, which might be handy, but it just doesn't seem worth the extra inventory space. And it looks a bit silly on your head. And I just, yeah, I never bother using it, which... It's like a bit of a shame, maybe, but yeah, this is just how it is, I guess. All right, back to some fishing. Let's see if we can get just a couple of carp here. Shouldn't be a problem, but I don't think. Lots of green algae to start. And we do have a fish here, though. Are you a carp? You, of course, are not. You are a bullhead. All right, another fish on our hook. What do we have? A chub, not a carp. Ooh, but there we got a carp, so that's number two. Just two more to go. Right, there's number three done. Let's see, can we just catch one more? How lucky can we get? Can we get two in a row? Nothing else in between? Are you a carp? Come on, carp. Yes! Okay, all four of those are done. What do we need to do with these now? Oh, that's the wrong one. Come down here. We need to just return to Demetrius. So let's just see if he is at his house. Hopefully he's just hanging out in his kitchen like he often does. Kitchen or laboratory? Maybe it's a laboratory. Is the kitchen a bit more further north than the house? I actually don't remember the layout of the house now. Oh, there's his wife. Hello, Robin. Uh, yeah, I guess it's the laboratory because the kitchen is just over there. All right, but that's a job done. We get to keep the fish. Oh, how fortunate for us. All right, we did get a prize ticket for doing that quest. So let's go see what Lewis has for us in here. We have managed to gather all the trash items that we need 
So we're gonna go and drop that off before we head to bed. So we're gonna be wandering around in the dark a little bit here. Oh, it looks like Linus is up here. But we just need to deposit all of this over here, finding some a lost library book along the way. There we go. That is a job done. Community clean up 500 gold pieces for that. Ooh, and another lost library book on our way out. All right, with that quest completed for the week, it is time to go to bed. We made quite a bit of money today. We had lots of green teas that we sold, plus the fairy roses still coming in worth lots of money here. Uh, the melon wine as well is great. And just, yeah, tons of mayo, lots and lots of stuff sold. So 12,800 made on this Friday, which is just excellent. All right, all of our crops out here are already watered. So I'm just taking out these old sprinklers because in the springtime, we'll have a new layout anyways. So going to remove these now. We will use them for the greenhouse in just a minute instead. And yeah, everything's already watered. So if it has a chance of growing again for tomorrow, it's going to be doing that regardless of whether there's a sprinkler sitting there or not. All right, our pig is fully grown. Uh, it is the 27th today. So we've got today and tomorrow for our pig to find a truffle. I don't know if he'll... Oh my goodness, will he find one on his first day as an adult pig? I mean, I really super hope so. I think what I'm gonna do though is clear out some of this grass, not only because it's gonna make the truffle easier to find, but we probably should actually fill the silo before we head into winter. We'll keep the purple grass, but let's yeah, get rid of a lot of this other grass. All right, pig, get truffle hunting. All right, in here, we're gonna get this place sorted and ready for growing some crops. Now, obviously this is not going to be the optimal setup for sprinklers in here but it's good enough for now later on when we get better quality sprinklers of course we'll have to change things out but yeah for now this will do this will make sure all the spots are getting watered and then we can plant something in here and we have this ready up and ready to be used all winter long all right there we go all finished up right what's gonna go out into town but then i heard a familiar sound and the familiar sound i think was Mr. Snuffles over here digging? Where is it, Snuffles? Oh, there it is, the truffle. We got it. We got it on Saturday. We only had today and tomorrow left. Goodness me, make sure we don't accidentally eat it or something because that would be an actual nightmare. We've got it. We've got the truffle. It's there. Okay, we'll put it in here for safekeeping. We still need a rabbit's foot and we still need our nautilus shell. But the truffle is now done. Ooh, a book has fallen out of this tree. Uh, I was just trying to get some wood here. And what did we get? Woody secret. All right, we've learned a new power. All right, as it is the 27th of autumn, it is time for the Spirits Eve Festival, which is good fun, of course. We'll have to go get our golden pumpkin. Let's see what's for sale. Anything that we want to get? The rare crow, we'll get that once a year. Jack-o'-lantern recipe, also do need to get that at some point. I guess we'll get it now. The rare crow we'll grab as well, because I mean, to do 100% run, you would need to get those things. So let's grab them because they are, uh, once in a year type of things that we can grab. I won't show going through the maze in case that's a spoiler for you. And because it just takes a while. We did manage to get the golden pumpkin, of course. And now we can take the secret shortcut back, which is very nice. You don't have to go backwards through the maze anymore. And I think that is a great change. All right, we talked to everybody. It's time to go home and end this Saturday. All right, made quite a bit of money, 2,500 because we sold that golden pumpkin. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I always do. Lots of money off of pumpkins, mayos, and green teas. So we turned a nice, tidy little profit. And we move on to the final day of autumn. Oh, we've got 41,000 in the bank as well, which is pretty good. Learned how to make artichoke dip. Oh, I love artichoke dip. Oh, we got a final harvest on the cranberries as well, which is good news. A new baby duckling has hatched in here. We're going to name it Goose because, you know, this game is really lacking geese. And still no rabbit's foot to be found. All right, we've got quite a few geodes to open up, so we're just gonna head into town. Plus we need to drop off our truffle because it's very exciting that we managed to gather one. And turning it in on the final day of autumn seems just about right. And this is the final thing to be completed is the bulletin board. So we just need our rabbit's foot and a nautilus shell now. So we are so very close and I feel like it's extremely doable. All right, coming into Pierre's, it would be good if we just bought a few things. One of the things I'd like to get in the ground are the spring saplings and all the trees that we are missing. So just grabbing those and buying some seeds for our greenhouse to grow over the winter. I do like the yam seeds. I feel like they are pretty good profit margins on those. So just gonna buy like a lot of those to get us through part of the winter at least. 
And of course we have our prize ticket to pick up from finishing Linus's quest this week. I haven't turned that one in yet, so let's grab that and head into Lewis's house and see what's here. A uh, hat, okay. Not super exciting, but we've got a few good things coming up. I mean, there's a plant there, but another dehydrator would be fabulous. All right, let's get these geodes processed. See if we find anything interesting. Oh, good clay, more clay. I mean, you can never have too much clay, I guess. Some sandstone, also okay, I guess. And limestone, more sandstone, okay. <laughs> oh, and some iridium ore, okay. Take the iridium ore, the rest, not so great. And I did bring some gold so we can upgrade our pickaxe to a gold pickaxe because we no longer need to worry about conserving money. We can actually just spend some of it now that we have it. Let's just see, do we have anything new in here? Absolutely not. Everything we already had, so I guess we can just sell it. There we are with our little baseball cap. It's actually kind of cute. I like the baseball cap. Although I kind of miss my farmer's hat already. I do like the farmer's hat. We are a farmer. Plus we won this by crushing children at an egg hunt, so, you know. Bond memories and all that. The wandering trader is here today. We should probably go see what she has. Maybe she's got a rabbit's foot for us or a nautilus shell. Either would be fabulous. I mean, I doubt that she has either of those things, but it would be really good if she did. An eel, mm, okay, that's interesting. A uh, puffer fish, interesting as well. Nothing in here, ooh, a retro catalog. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, nothing that we actually need though. All right, planting our little saplings in. So we've got our two summer trees, then our two autumn trees and our two spring trees. And then hopefully we will double up on them later on. But I think we've had a extremely successful autumn season here with just two things remaining on our community center to-do list, a Nautilus shell and a rabbit's foot. It feels very much within reach if we've got four weeks remaining our entire winter season to try to get that done. I'm feeling very excited because I think we're definitely going to be able to do it. And I hope uh, you agree. All right, and we head to sleep on the final day of autumn here. And I hope that you are still enjoying this series as much as I am. Looking forward to finishing off that, ooh, look at level nine foraging, that's exciting. Finishing off the community center, and then we'll be transitioning these onto a stream. And I probably will multi-stream across Twitch and YouTube for those, so you'll be able to see the VODs, but we have to get that community center finished first. But that is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.